Hello and welcome to Virtue Design Institute Visual Communication Skills Lecture 2. Um, today we're going to create a DL flyer and ready that flyer, um, flyer for print in InDesign. Um, DL flyers are a great economical print option. Commonly um, you find them in um, trifold, in a roll fold or z-fold at DL size, which is A4 folded into three, and it's a great economical solution um, for print advertising. We're also, once we've created our DL flyer, we're gonna export it for print. So, this is the flyer we're going to um, create today. It's nice and simple, just for the purpose of learning how to do it. And you can see here in our pages, it's a double-sided, Flyer. So you can either double click in your pages section here to scroll through it or you can use the sidebar to scroll down. Now just before we get started, when you've got InDesign open, all these file um, tabs that you have on the side here, you can open these through Windows. So if you're looking for your character or paragraph um, tabs or um, alignment tabs, they're all gonna be in here. So um, it's a great place to find the things that you need. All right, so to start building our file, we're going to go to File, New Document. Now before you get started in the um, InDesign preferences, you wanna set up so that everything's in millimeters and um, that's a, you know, a standard for Australia. Firstly, we want to make sure that our intent is set for print. You can also do web or digital um, publishing, but today we're just we're doing a print DL flyer, so we select print. We don't want our fa pages facing, so facing would be like a book or a magazine. We're just doing a nice, simple two-page stacked file. So in here, we're going to put two pages. Our size, you can see all the sizes in here. We're not using a custom size. Uh, sorry, we are using custom size. We're not using a standard default size. So we're just going to put the measurements straight in. So a DL flyer is 99 millimeters wide by 210 high. It is portrait. We're just going to have one column. We're going to set our margins to 5 mil. A DL flyer is quite compact, so you don't want to have a margin that's too big because you're losing a lot of your space. Bleed, we're gonna set to three millimeters. This is a nice standard for having crop marks and having things bleed over the edge like a colored background or an image. And um, you need that if you're going to print and you wanna print color over the edge. Right, so that's all we need. And we're going to, if you can't see bleed, it's because you've got fewer options. So just more options and then bleed will come up there. So you press OK, and we have our new document. Right, so what we need to do now is we save our new document. You can save to wherever you need to, and we're gonna just save it as DL Flyer 1. That's it, it'll save as an InDesign file. So first things first in creating our flyer is that you probably wanna have an idea of what you're trying to achieve and maybe sketch it up before you start designing. That means you've got your intent, you know where you're headed and there's no mucking around. So firstly, to make sure that we can create this flyer, we're going to do our solid background. So what I'm gonna do down this tools panel on the side here, I'm going to select this tool here and just drag it across. That's going to set up. Now it's got a border and no fill at the moment. We're in our swatches folder going to switch that. So we've got a solid box now and we're just going to select a colour. Now my colour is slightly different. I'm going to make that a bit darker by adding some black here. But you can customise your colours as you want to there and just pressing OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to place an image. We've got two images to put in. So how we do that is we go File, Place. Now you can see in my brochure folder here I have two images. The one at the top that we're using is our Virtue logo. So I've just selected that and now I can drag that across. Now 
I'm just going to go back a step. There's two different things here. If you look at the little symbol that's occurring in the little white box, that will place it within the blue box because I'm hovering over the blue box. If I go outside here, you can see the symbol changes and that means I'm just creating a new box for it. So if ever you have a difficulty with that, that would be why. So the little bracket sign that you're seeing here means it's going to go inside the blue box. If you want to avoid that, it's just in the fine art of the way you click. So what I'm going to do is click and drag at the same time and that's just going to create a new box there. So that's a little problem you might run into and something to be aware of in the software. Right, very happily there's my first image. Now what I want to do is make sure the alignment of my image is perfect. So what I'm going to do is select my background and my image to make sure that aligned. And what I do is it's already selected my image. I'm going to press the shift key and press on my background. And now they're both selected and I can go up here to my alignment bar and just press align to the middle. And now it's perfectly aligned. Deselect. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the display performance of the file so that I can really see the fine detail in the image and so that it's not looking pixelated and low res. This way you get to see the file exactly as it might go to print. So how I do that is I go view, display performance, high quality display and now you can see the difference in my file looking much better. We've got another image to place so what I'm going to do is again go up to file, place and I'm going to select my other image. Now this here is an image of a Z Fold DL flyer. Again looking at the two different symbols this time I'll just go like that just click it once and you'll see that it pops the image down in its full size and proportionate. If you want to constrain the size of that, you could and you just click and drag. But I like it exactly the size that I've prepared earlier. Now see if I'm hovering this image, these little smart guides show up if you're in CS5 and CS6 and it shows me that it's perfectly centered so I can skip that alignment phase. So perfect, that's all in, we're very happy. What I'm going to do is get rid of my um, guides display just so I can have a look at what it's going to look like in print. Down here in my tools bar is a little tool that shows me all these different ways of viewing my file so I can preview it as it might go to print and I can preview it with the bleed. Now because we're using a dark background it's hard to see but there is here the black line and a white line. The white line is the outer bound of the bleed and the black line is the um, outer boundary of the file. You can see it there a little bit better. Alright, it's looking good. I'm fairly happy. I might just shimmy this one down by selecting and using the down arrow or I could drag it. Looking good, I'm going to save. I'm going to go back to my normal view and I'm going to insert text. So if we look at the original flyer, we're going to start inserting some text. Virtue Design Institute, that's what's next. I click on my type tool in my tools bar and I click and drag across the screen to my margins and I'm going to turn my caps lock on and type Virtue Design Institute. Excellent. I'm going to edit, select all. I'm going to center my type up here. You can also do this under paragraph. All right, our justification and alignments are there. I'm going to go to swatches and I'm going to change it to white. I'm going to go back to character and I'm going to type in my font that I want. In this case, it's Avenir and we're going to use Roman. We're going to bump up the size until we're happy with it. Then, as per the original file, I'm just going to bump up the weight of that font there. You can see that's looking pretty similar to the original file now and I'm just going to select it, adjust the box and move it down a little ways. 
The other thing we can do is if we select this type by double clicking and scrolling, we can change the way the file looks up here. So these are really handy quick tools to use. The other thing you can do is if you select it, you can go up to type, change case, lower case and then just use this tool to make it all caps. You've got a lot of different options and a lot of different ways of doing things. It's quite an intuitive, clever program. Okay, we're next gonna um, create the orange, yellowy orange box on the original flyer and put the type within that. So again, using the rectangle tool, and here if you hold and press down, you can see there are other shapes you can create. We're just gonna use the rectangle tool click and drag across. Same as before, we're going to go in and change it to a solid shape, not a shape with a border. And we're going to click on a color that's fairly similar. Then I'm going to duplicate this swatch by selecting it and dragging it down to the add or the new swatch button. If I double click on that, I can then use my color theory to know that if I add a little bit of magenta to the yellow, I can start seeing the colour change into the colour we're after. And I think that's about right. Now in our original file, I have this as a square box. But for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to put a rounded corner. And you just do that up here in the top bar, rounded corner. You can see there's other options there. And then I can adjust that, making it more or less rounded. So I think I, I like about two millimetres. I think that looks good. That's done. What I'm going to do is duplicate this type now to create my next type box. And what I do is I can either go edit, copy and paste, or I can click and hold on this original um, type box, press shift and alt or option and drag it down. I'm then going to go to object, arrange, bring to front. Excellent, there's our type. I'm going to adjust this box now. And I'm going to type in what we've got written on our other flyer, how to create a DL flyer in design. Excellent, how's it looking? Yep, it's looking fairly similar. I'm, I'm happy with that. We've got one more line of text to create and we're just going to do the same as before. Shift, Alt, click and drag all at the same time. And what are we writing? Presented by me. Presented by Rachel Hawkins. Now I just typed that without the caps lock down but because I've got this little double T press at the top if I just deselect that it comes down I'm going to adjust up in the top bar now the font size a bit different to last time now the only other thing to note is see how it's sitting at the top of that box I've got two things I can do I can either drag the box down so it sits down where I need to on the baseline of the flyer or I can go up here and adjust where it, the text aligns to within the box. I can go to the middle of the box, the bottom of the box, or the top of the box. And in this instance, I'm going to go the bottom of the box. Nice and easy, a little adjustment, and we're looking good. That's pretty much the whole front of the flyer. So we just select things and you can jig them around until visually it looks like you want it to. So now we scroll down. We've just got our second page to go. So, the other way of doing that, going up to pages, double clicking down. Let's change our preview to normal so we can see our margins. I'm going to this time select my tool, type tool, drag across. Now, I don't have my actual type written yet. I'm just setting up the layout. And often you do this for designers, uh, for clients. You design the flyer before the content's been finalized. So a great tool for using in this instance is to go to type, fill with placeholder text. 
And this saves you going into your internet browser, bringing up lorem ipsum to copy and paste in. This does it automatically for you. There it is. File, save, done. There is a double-sided flyer completed as per the sample file. So I hope that this has made sense to you. Any questions, just post them in the forum. It's not a problem. Any little problems, I can help you out with that.